Hey guys, it's Nabil from Topaz. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a classic car for you and we're going to be doing a cosmetic restoration on this one. It's a Porsche, quite a rare car, especially in this color. It's called Cassis Red, which is a very, very unique color, which I mean, right now, if you wanted a modern car with this kind of color, you're not going to get it unless you go down the paint to sample route. And it just looks, it just looks so retro and I love it. Um, so the car's come in uh, as you can see it's a, the condition is just usual wear and tear the car's nearly 40 years old it's had it's got some stone chips it's got you know some scratches here and there uh road rash it's got obviously swell marks it's the usual suspects of what you'd get from the car being driven and driven well and it's good to see that the car is actually being driven well rather than it being parked up in a in a you know in a, in a garage never to be seen or driven again so um what the customer wanted to do he, he wanted to make sure that the car is back to looking absolutely spot on and um, the best thing to do with this kind of condition car is either to try to restore it as much as possible with the current condition but you're still going to be left with the paint defects and it's never going to get better unless you respray it or we do a full cosmetic restoration which is what we're going to be doing here so let's crack on with the video you're going to see us going through the whole process and then also putting paint protection film on it because essentially we've done all this work and then after that you want to make sure it's protected. So we're going to go through that right now on this video. Get your popcorn and check it out. The owner wants this car to be absolutely perfect and we agree so that's why we're going to do what we're going to do so after inspecting the car decontaminating and bringing it to the workshop the real work can start first we prep the panels by sanding them this allows fresh paint to sit correctly on the panel without the risk of lifting before painting however we treat every stone chip with a special filler to eliminate any cavity left by the chip painting straight over the chips is a waste of time as there'll always be a difference in height where the chip was. We go over the whole body and make sure the panels are straight and smooth before the car goes anywhere near the booth. Cassis Red is a rare color and difficult to match. Absolutely a nightmare to match actually, but however, we have a luxury state-of-the-art paint spectrophotometers which can identify the color with insane accuracy and tell our painters how to mix it exactly to the drop. Once the color is ready, each panel is carefully sprayed. Spraying is a lot harder than it looks. The guys have to hold the gun at a constant distance from the panel, moving it in a constant speed. It's an art really. If they do notice even the slightest imperfection or contamination when painting, the panel is prepped again and repainted until it's 100%. Once our team are happy with the color and it has been allowed to bake, Every panel is then sprayed with clear coat. The clear coat is a top layer that gives the color its brilliant gloss. The car is looking great now, but it's not to the Topaz standard by any means. Our detailers take over now, flattening every panel to make sure that the look is completely OEM and there is no excessive orange peel. In most cases, it's even better than OEM. This process neutralizes the peaks and troughs in the clear coat that naturally occur when spraying. However, the sanding process obviously leaves sanding marks all over the car. So the next step is polishing and removing those sanding marks. Polishing removes the sanding marks and restores the gloss revealing sharp reflections and that amazing color.
The whole car is polished, every nook, using the small polishing pad and a small machine, wherever necessary. Even the smallest patch is not missed, because if it is, it will detract from the whole job. Once our guys are happy that the whole car is looking at its best, we move into the paint protection film section. Each piece is rolled back carefully onto the car, fitting into place like pieces of a jigsaw. PPF actually intensifies any effect beneath the film. So if the paint isn't good, it actually makes it look even worse. However, because we've worked hard to get the paint looking good, the PPF actually is going to make it look even better. Our installers move to the film around the panel using our slip solution. Slip is essentially water and soap. They then can use the fixed solution to adhere the film to the car by squeegeeing it into place. Fix is a small percentage of isopropanol alcohol and a larger percentage of water. With this being an old car, it's not as simple as protecting, say, a Porsche 992. With the 992 or most any other modern car, we've worked on them before and our in-house PPF patterns on our database are ready to cut to size. We have protected 930 turbos before and we have the patterns for those. However, due to the age of the car, we cannot guarantee that any two panels are exactly the same or any two cars are exactly the same. We also can't guarantee that one side of the car is symmetrical to the other. For that reason, we pattern cars like this from scratch on every occasion. This means that we can cut sheets from film from our plotter that we know are going to fit the car perfectly without the need of trimming and without leaving paintwork exposed to damage. If you ever tried fitting a phone screen protector, you will know how hard it is. Now imagine what it's like to fit a huge car panel that's curved. It's not an easy job at all. It took me years to learn how to perfect the art. I said that our film fits perfectly to each panel. That's not actually strictly true. We designed the film in a special way to be slightly too big for the panel, allowing the edges to wrap around. This is a crucial part of the process as it prevents the film from lifting easily and also gives the maximum possible protection. Finally, our installers heat lock the film in place using warm air, again to prevent any kind of lifting. And as you can notice, most of the time we like using hair dryers as it's a controlled amount of hot air coming out versus say a heat gun. Once the PPF is finished and checked over, our detailers step back in and make sure that the car is looking absolutely perfect with no watermarks or smudges inside or out, meaning now it's ready for me to show you the final result and to hand it to the customer.
And there you have it guys, that was the video being brought back to life from its previous state. And obviously it wasn't in a bad state in the beginning, but if you want it absolutely spot on, then as you can see now is the car is absolutely like it just came out of the factory line. Um, now the customer's obviously got some plans with this car. That's why he wanted to get this done and also to make sure it's protected because as you can imagine this, as you can see in the video and, and, and by now, I think if, if you're new followers, welcome. If you are not new followers, you know by now that we have a lot of work to be done when it comes to the cosmetic restoration side and and it's one of those things where just it's a process off the process off the process off the process and a lot of work gets put into it many 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 man hours get put into this this process and to to not protect it at the end is a shame uh, so uh, the customer's got a lot of plans I think he's going to be doing a road trip in the car as well so he wanted it to be, you know, or every single inch, every single centimeter of this car to be protected with film. Now, let's talk about the film process a little bit here, because obviously we have, you know, patterns. But again, because the, the more classic cars are usually handmade, usually there's a lot more, you know, manual labor versus machines putting it together and things differ from one side to another. So we've had to, again, pattern and template each panel uh, rather than doing just one side and then being able to reverse it, you know, mirror it and, and put it to the other side. So that is obviously evident and it's about a time it takes again to do this. So it was an epic, epic project. In regards to the paintwork as well, we actually are able have we have the facility to uh, match the microns of it being from the factory. Um, it's a much lengthier process. We didn't do it on this car, but it's a much lengthier process we've, which we've done on a few other cars beforehand. Um, and it's it's basically matching microns for the rest of the panels and to make sure that the the, the, the consistency of the message of the car is stayed intact. Um, and also I'm, I'm a stickler for making sure that it's as close to how it leaves the factory as possible or enhancing it. So I think with that service, it really does make a difference. Anyway, I thought, uh, I thought this video was entertaining for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and make sure to like, share and subscribe uh, and I'll catch you on the next one.